All right, so we are at uh, Gado Caves to do a little bit of rock climbing to get in here because uh, the tide is in. Um, but thankfully it's volcanic rock, so it's pretty easy to grab. Um, my camera does not like it. It is very humid here. Let's see if you can get the ocean. And I'm extremely sweaty, but let's let's go see. I found some hieroglyphs. Okay. So I don't know if you'll be able to see them in this light. Oh, the camera's fucking up again. All right. Oh, there it's adjusting. Mm. Come on. There we go. a little fuzzy but very cool so these are supposed to be from the indigenous Chamorro people I accidentally walked down a private driveway earlier and met a very large cow Um, yeah, there's nobody else out here. It's just me. Um, so I'm being very safe. Oh, I did, uh, I did not bring my sneakers like I should have. I had them right next to my bag and I forgot them. So I'm wearing sandals, but I am wearing pants, which is great. Okay, so it looks like there's another cave over here. Uh, I'm not going to carry the camera for safety, but I'll be right back. All right, I am dripping sweat, um, but I made this small traverse over to the second cave. Um, I don't see any hieroglyphs in this one, um, but there's a cute little little ladder. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, right there. That's pretty adorable. This is a cave. It's probably focused on me. There we go. Pretty cool. Yeah, so it didn't take too long to get here. So yeah, I was saying it was like a 38 minute drive, but that's um, mainly because the roads here don't uh, go faster than 35 miles per hour. Some of them are just 25 miles per hour. Um, so kind of nice because I don't like going that fast. But yeah, this is beautiful. I'm glad I came here. Like I said, it's just me, which is kind of cool. Yeah, and yeah, yesterday, uh, walking down to the water at the resort, I had an incident with a spider, which was terrifying. Uh, I felt myself walking through spider webs, and all of a sudden, there was a big black spider on my arm. So, of course, immediate nope. I went back to my room. Um, but I haven't seen any spiders out here. Uh, fun fact, apparently, there are an insane amount of spiders in Guam because uh, there's an invasive species of snake that was introduced in like the 80s or something like that and it ate half of the bird population. So um, I do see, yeah, I see a spider web behind me over here, um, which I'm going to avoid. But yeah, let's explore more of the island. There's more caves to see, there's waterfalls. Um, some of the hikes I heard are really hard. You have to use ropes and things. And like I said, I didn't bring a proper, sorry, I didn't bring uh, proper foot gear, so we'll see what I can do, but yeah, thanks for joining me. Let's keep exploring Guam Okay, uh, just four minutes away from the caves is the Inarajan pool uh, It's a natural pool. It's over there. There's a ton of kids swimming um, It's on the other side of that bridge uh, At any rate, I don't want to disturb the children swimming um, but I found the perfect spot to enjoy the beauty of this area. There are crabs and little fishies all in the tidal pools over here. Uh, and we have a nice view of the ocean. 
Here, I'll show you. Down here in the tidal pools, you'll see the fish. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, I am wearing sunblock. I did not lie to myself. I don't plan on burning today. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go swimming. I might go swimming in the resort pool later. I'm not a big open water person. It's just not my thing. I like looking at it, but I'm not even really a big beach person. Anyway, how lucky am I that I get to be here? Alright, what time is it? about 11.40 a.m. here and maybe I should go find some food. I might go check out some waterfalls in another cave and then we'll get food. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm at Talofofo Falls. It just started raining. This is a bit more inland. And looks like there's a bunch of rides. There's like a ghost house. I don't know. I'll check it out. I really want to see the cave. That's why I'm here. But yeah, you can see there's rides. <laughs> I'll have to show you later, but there's stray dogs everywhere here um, and chickens but there's some really cute puppies here. There's a full litter of them. They're a little bit older, but they're adorable. All right, I'll turn that off for a second. Okay, so this is the ghost house. Come check it out. I'm supposed to follow the other line, so. Oh. I don't know if it's open. <laughs> okay. Spooky over there. We'd like to invite oh. you to death <laughs> You will never guess what's being served. <laughs> oh no! This is a spooky guy. Okay, just watching my step. It's really dark. <laughs> oh, okay. That's up. Oh, we got a weird walkway.
here. There's something in the floor. Ew, there's like a mummy down there. Oh, spookies. not anticipate coming to see this waterfall and going through a monster house but okay all right after the monster house is the tram they just like guide you through this so i don't know where i'm going i'm assuming the waterfall or the cave It started raining really hard. Okay, it's really loud, but this is the second waterfalls. Okay, so this is the museum here. You can see, there's no placards in here that I saw, but they've got the same hieroglyphics that I saw at the caves earlier. And these are people living in a cave. It gets depressing. I looked through it and I thought I would show you. Okay, so I'm assuming this is when the Spaniards came and occupied Not good. And then as we move on, well look, the Americans. Wonderful. They're working with the people in the villages. We see a mix of indigenous people and white folks. We've got, oh, Yep, we got the American flag, Japanese flag, and the Nazi flag. Some planes. Guam flag. So I'm assuming these are the Japanese. Sepukai, that's what that's called, right? I don't really need placards here, it's just all horrific images. Okay, that's the museum. Okay, so I didn't realize what this cave was, um, but uh, it's where Sergeant Yokio, um, I hope I'm saying that right, I'm probably butchering everything while I was here, actually lived in the jungle here. He did not realize that the war was over for 28 years. I only, I forget what YouTube video I was watching, but I only learned about the story recently and it's so funny, I didn't, it didn't click in my head until I saw this. Um, so yeah, um, is it gonna focus? I might need bug spray, there's mosquitoes here. Oh gosh, yep, hold on. Uh, okay, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. 
Sorry, I had to take like a literal bath in bug spray because I am very tasty. Oh, this lens is so messed up. Yeah, the lens is like super steamy. It's very moist, hence the mosquitoes. Um, but okay, so I can't go down there. But this ladder goes down to where he was staying. At least the rain subsiding a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. Now, and now I'm drenched in bug spray and uh, sweat. It's awesome. Um, my ankle is itchy. One definitely got me. I'll take you over here. Yeah, there's hardly anybody out today, which is why I wanted today off. Everybody's at church. There's a cool shrine. Focus. My camera does not want to focus on anything today. Okay. Thankfully I have a towel with me. Um, oh my goodness, what is going on there? Ugh. This is waterproof mascara. It is not Guam rainproof. Um, okay, so it's about 1 p.m. Uh, that that was pretty cool. I, I actually really enjoyed that. I thought the monster house was a nice touch. Um, pretty cheesy, but it added like a little extra fun to just going to see some waterfalls, right? Um, I am starving, so I'm gonna go eat. I don't think I'm gonna film in the restaurant. I'll, I'll feel it out. Uh, or I might just get fast food and take it back to the room. If there's like a cool like Guam specific food I can pick up. But yeah, I think I wanna go rest and get closer to the coast. It seems like this storm is mostly inland. So I'm going to try and find some sunshine and hopefully go to the pool at the hotel later. Alright, well this concludes my adventure for today. I made it back to the hotel, it's 3pm. So I'm going to go check out the infinity pool because it is not raining here currently. And yeah, oh, I had a great lunch at a place called Jeff's Pirate Cove. Um, it's one of the few like touristy restaurants it's themed um they have a little gift shop there it's pretty cute but uh i got my new favorite dish here the chicken keleguin i think i'm saying that right it's basically like a chopped citrusy chicken salad um but they put it on top of their jeff's greek salad i guess and it worked there was cucumbers and kalmata olives and pepperoncinis uh, with a Greek dressing and then the chicken on top and uh, yeah, it's pretty tasty. All right. Well, thank you for spending the day with me. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And with that, I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I will see you next time. Bye.